Hi loves, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Brianna, AKA Dollface PA. I can be found on any social media platform at Brianna Moore. That is Twitter and Instagram. For those of you who are returning, welcome back. I, my love, am a people's people and the people have spoken. One of my subscribers said they would like to see me make more content about day in the life. And so that's what I'm gonna do. And specifically today, I'm going to be doing a day in the life of a PA off the clock. More specifically, a day in the life of a PA who's been on vacation for two weeks and I'm actually going back to work tomorrow. So it's kind of just going to be a, I guess, get ready to go back to work with me because there's a lot that goes into that. And tomorrow is the beginning of my work week, even though tomorrow is Thursday. So yeah, let's get started. I'm not even gonna sit up here and pretend and act like I just woke up and I have a skincare routine because why? We're just not like that over here. I know the aesthetic is cute, but I'm gonna keep it real with you. It's actually almost 2 p.m. Um, I have been awake since 5 a.m. I literally just got back from Europe last night. Um, yeah, I really have barely, I haven't even been home 15 hours. I got home. I was so exhausted because of the time change. So I literally went straight to sleep. And despite being exhausted, I woke up at five o'clock in the morning because my body is still on Europe time. And in Europe at five o'clock in the morning, it's 11 o'clock in the morning. So I've actually been up for quite some time. I unpacked, um, I straightened up my house a little bit because my brother actually flew here this morning from Virginia. So he is here in New York with me. Um, I have a couple of errands to run. I'm getting ready to go to the gym. That is a part of my daily routine and that's definitely a part of my get ready to go back to work with me routine. So we're gonna go to the gym, besties. And then I am going to get my clothes together, do all of that. <sighs> mm, I'm getting exhausted even thinking about it. I need to meal prep, but I actually am not sure that I'm going to meal prep. Typically I will, I would meal prep lunch and dinner for the week and I make overnight oats for my breakfast. Yes, I do take all three meals to work with me because I work 12 and a half hour shifts. I am from work from sun up to sundown. I go to work at 7.30 a.m. I get off at 8 p.m. So all three of my meals for the day get eaten at work. Um, however, on Thursdays, they typically provide lunch for us. So I actually don't need to make a lunch for myself to bring tomorrow. And a lot of the time there is enough lunch for us to have for leftover dinner. So sometimes on Thursdays, I don't bring lunch or dinner. I only bring breakfast, which is usually overnight oats. I eat overnight oats every single day. Um, honestly, not. it is healthy, so that's an added benefit, but honestly, I'm just lazy. And it's something that I can quickly make the night before and take it with me and it fills me up. So we'll get to that later. Let's go to the gym, because honey, after being in Europe for a week, eating and drinking the way I was, baby. We need to go get on the treadmill, so let's go. So this is me just wiping down my treadmill machine with the um, cleanser that they provide at the gym. Definitely always wanna do that for hygienic purposes. Um, and I realized that I forgot my Apple Watch, which I hate because I love tracking my calories and things of that nature, but whatever. And girlies, yes, another TikTok sensation. The 12 330 has been my best friend. It's an incline of 12, speed of three for 30 minutes, and it's gonna do the trick every single time. It is very, very difficult, but honestly, it has toned my body, and I have lost weight where I wanted to lose weight like nobody's business. It's a 30 minute workout that doesn't require a lot of effort on your part, and you will burn lots of calories, as you see in a quick 30 minutes, 334 calories. So I'm exhausted, but I'm going to get my nails done. I'm pretty sweaty, but the nail shop's next door, so I'm gonna go do what needs to be done. So I entrusted my nail girl to try to make my nails into the Hailey Bieber nails. And for those of you who don't know, it's basically just the way Hailey Bieber wears her nails. Some people will argue that this is just the almond shape. I beg to differ. I feel like these are just a little bit more chic. Almond definitely gives grandmother, 87 years old, geriatrics, senior citizen. To me, this is just a little bit more cheek, chic, not cheek. It's a little more chic, looks way natural, and I just love like the soft white. Yes, it's given what needs to be given. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, and it's short enough for me to go to work. 
Also, I did not film this, but I had to go to the beauty supply store and get a new blow dryer because I am going to insert a picture of what happened to my old blow dryer in Europe. One second. So for those of you who know, you know that this is a very uh, trendy uh, blow dryer right now. The blow dryer brush, it gets your hair super straight. Like it honestly is amazing. I just got mine about a month and a half ago and I was not aware that due to the different outlets in Europe, you cannot plug in like high voltage appliances such as a blow dryer. So um, I was swimming in the Mediterranean Ocean. So I had to wash my hair when I got home and I went to blow dry my hair. All of this is while we were in Ibiza, Ibiza. And literally this thing started popping crackling and making the craziest noise it started smoking and then it literally just went out and so I was like what the heck this is a fire hazard but I was so upset because I just got it and I'm like wow like I really wasted my money on this but shout out to Revlon's customer service because they are FedExing me a new one overnight because I am still within the 90 day warranty period but she did tell me that it was because of like the voltage difference and I didn't know that once again first time in Europe what you don't know, you don't know, but now I know. But she did tell me to cut the cord. She told me to cut the cord and throw it in the trash can because it's a fire hazard. So, um, I need to wash my hair tonight before I go to work tomorrow because I just need to. And so I had to emergently go and buy a quick little cheap, you see this is $19.99, a quick little cheap hair dryer, hair, like blow dryer, just so I can blow dry my hair for tonight so that my hair is not wet tomorrow, which is super annoying, but my um, other blow dryer that they're overnighting to me won't be here until tomorrow and I need to wash my hair today. So you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Yeah. But yes, that actually is a part of my get ready for work routine. Typically, if I'm getting ready to go into a stretch of shifts, I always wash my hair before I go to work. I don't know why, I just do like, you know, I wash my hair probably like once a week and I like for my hair to be fresh at work because I'm patient facing and a lot of people see me. So I can't be going up in there looking like who shot John. Y'all know I was in the gym putting in work today and um, no, this is not giving. We're not going to work with these edges, absolutely not. So I'm getting ready to take a shower. I'm getting ready to wash my hair blow dry my hair, flat iron my hair, do all that. It probably will take a few hours. I'm really not looking forward to it. I stopped at the deli and got something to eat because y'all, it's just one of those days. <laughs> I had a lot to do today in preparation to get ready to go back to work and cooking just didn't make it on that list. And so, you know, I'm all for doing what you gotta do to make your life easier. I got this like Chipotle chicken sandwich from the deli on a roll. Nothing special, has like some Chipotle sauce, chicken, avocados on it. Seem pretty good. We'll see. But I think I'm going to do my hair before I eat. It's like 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. And I really just want to get my hair out the way. So we'll check back later, child. This was my sandwich from the deli. It was really good. So I washed, blow dried, and flat ironed my hair. Here it is wrapped up. Sorry, I do not have footage of what the finished product looks like. But here I'm just getting ready to wash my face before bed. Um, I like to use the Bior charcoal. It really, really, really gets my face clean. Um, I do want to start by saying that I went and saw my dermatologist and she's the one that constructed my skincare routine. And so uh, feel free to use this if you would like, but um, just know that I saw a professional who told me exactly what to use. So you should probably do the same if you're not exactly sure what your skin may need. But this routine works very, very well for me and my skin is the best it's ever been. After the BR, I rinse it off. I use the Ordinary um, Glycolic Acid for a toner. Um, this is not for everybody. Again, you should talk to your dermatologist before doing this. It can be very drying if you don't need it, but for me, it's what I need. And this is the miracle worker. The La Roche-Posay uh, B5 Glycolic Serum has been a game changer for me. It has evened out my skin. I love it. Whenever people ask me, what am I doing different to my skin? No, I'm not getting Botox. No, I'm not getting filler. This is really what has made the difference in my skin and I know it. It's expensive, but it's worth it. I love it and my dermatologist approved and said that I should continue using it. So I'm gonna continue doing just that. 
For my moisturizer, I have been using La Mer, which is also something that my dermatologist uh, suggested, and it is also very expensive, but I love how moisturizing it is for my skin, especially being in New York where the air is so dry in the winter. Here is the finished product. Skin is literally glowing. I love doing this before bed. And now it's bedtime. 10 p.m. is usually when I go to sleep, but I'm a little bit over that. It's about 10.45, but I do believe in sleep hygiene, and so I sleep in pitch black darkness. I do not have a TV in my room. I feel like it has significantly increased the quality of my sleep. Thank you for watching, and good night.